In this video, I'm going to show you how to play hack games on your Android phone. First off, you need to have your phone plugged into your laptop or computer and have it turned on. Have your phone connected to your computer through the USB cord. Then, for uh, Pantet Breakout users, go up here to your status bar. Damn it. Drop it down. Go to USB settings. Then click on USB mass storage. Click OK. And go back up here to your status bar. Then go down to USB connected. Then turn on USB storage. OK. Wait for it to connect. Then uh, leave that as it is. All these steps I'm doing right now are all on the computer, what you have to do on the computer. Okay, you need to go to, and I'm assuming you, all of you already know how to put a hack games on your computer, so I'm not going to cover that in this video. Okay, I've got my phone plugged into the computer through the US, or through the USB cord on the uh, removable disk X drive. Next, for the Pantech breakout uh, 4G LTE phone users, you go, once you've uh, gotten into your phone, your a removable disk drive, whichever you've got your phone plugged into, go down to download, download, not downloads, then go over to ROMs, SNES, or that's how I've got it. I think some of this I may have a name specifically, but basically this is what you need to do. Then uh, either copy or uh, drag and drop Oh, wait, I have to go to where I have my ROMs at first. And then go to, then copy and paste, or you can drag and drop them. When you do that, go back over to your, the files, in, or the ROMs in your, fo in your phone, then uh, you either paste them here or drag and drop them both here your IPS uh, file and your SMC hack or both of those files over to your phone under download or wherever you've got your ROMs your regular ROMs at on your phone and once you've done all that on your computer then just exit out of your uh, folders that you've got up there and then you'll need to turn on or then disconnect your phone from the computer once you, once you've dragged and dropped all those files onto the area on your phone okay disconnect your phone from the laptop or you may be able to keep it plugged in through the USB mass storage through it being on okay then go to wherever you got your Super Nintendo uh, emulator for your phone at in my case it's the SNES AD which is a free Super Nintendo emulator for the uh, and for Android phones uh, and so far it works with all these hacks I have I'm on, on mine now Super Mario World hack is an example Okay, this one's Luigi Mad Time Island Mystery. Let's see, here's it's working. I'll do another emulator also just to show that. It's working right. Max World now. Also, if you know of a good uh, app on the Android phone to be able to use like a PS3 controller or Xbox 360 controller. I'd like to know the 
name of the app and know what you need to do to be able to use it. Okay, here's another one. Well, it's kind of hard to do this one hand. Anyways, that ends this video.